Where? Yeah. Oh yeah. So we've got Arrowhead uh, coming inwards over there, just coming out of the grass. I've been following her for a little while, so I can video it's a bit mad. Um, but it looks like she's coming straight this way, we hope, so we're nice and lined up. No, she's gone into the grass. You can hear all the alarm calls in the background. There's lots of deer going, ah, oh, there's a tiger here! <laughs> now I know some of you people want to, out there want to know what settings I've got. I know, you have to know that. Um, even though there's bright sunlight everywhere and you can see I've got my friendly sunglasses on, um, I've always got to be prepared for some really cool kind of action, like she's going to chase something. So I always need to have a high shutter speed. So even though the sun is out, it's kind of dark forest here. So I'm up at 1600 uh, f4, um, down minus two thirds to darken the, um, the forest a little bit and take the highlight out. And obviously I've got tracking on. Ready, so I've got the 300, which is the 600. I've got the 4150, which is something to 440. And somewhere along the, on the floor, I've got a wide angle as well. So I've got everything ready to go, all switched on. So Arrowhead, for those of you who don't know, is about five years old. Uh, she's a particular favorite of all of us because she's always lived her life um, in public. And now it's brilliant because she's got her, her first litter of cubs. She's actually had a litter before, but they died very early. This is the first litter that uh, she's had. Um, and they're just bundles of fun. And one of them is already showing signs that it wants to be a great hunter, which is ridiculous because Arrowhead is possibly the worst hunter we've ever known in Randambor. Just awful. Uh, here at Randambor, I've known all of these tigers for years and years and years. And I watched Arrowhead when she was a, a tiny cub. And now I see her as a mother with her own cubs. It's awesome. Most people here, they only react to what they see. We react to what's going to happen five or ten minutes ahead. So we're just kind of carrying on. Cheers. All right, over. Perfect. What's the cross? Head either. Head shot. Where's she gone? Yeah, that's alright. There she is. Wow, walking right behind us. So uh, there we are, she came right up, right behind us. Uh, we gave her plenty of room. We're now gonna, she's kind of cutting a, kind of across that way to where the cubs are. Um, so we're hoping that maybe if we go there, maybe they'll come and maybe play in the open. I mean, it's, yeah, I know, tough, but you never know, fingers crossed. Right, my team here is the most experienced around the ball. I've been working with them for five, six years now, uh, and I trust them completely, but not with money. Oh no, never with money, but completely with everything else. What's she doing, boss? There she is. She's coming. She's coming. Okay, so uh, Arrowhead uh, tried to hunt a uh, wild boar, and the wild boar got away because for some reason she ran right in front of us, didn't go for it. They always know better. It's been an amazing afternoon. It's such a privilege to be up close and personal to tigers like these, tigers that we really love, and I hope I've given you a flavour of what it's like to be with Andy Rouse and Rantham Moor. After his probably most favorite animal in the world, which is the, the tiger, and one of the most special tigers that exists, which is Arrowhead. So all that remains is to say bye-bye from Rantham Moor and check out some of these pictures that I took today. I hope you like them. Until next time, bye now.